Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and yes, Barty's been doing that ever since the end of the last video. I ended the video and then like he came over to my car and he's been doing that ever since. So <laughs> it's kind of funny, but uh, I need to get started because I have a lot to do in this episode. First of all, I need to go inside this building I was at, uh, or about to enter before I ended the video last time, because there are actually quite a few things to collect in here. Namely, a wasp camera. Surely that's not the only wasp camera, though. Well, it might be, actually, but there are a few other things. Including this room of hoarded coins under these boxes and vending machines. This is a good place to get coins. I'm not sure... Uh, someone mentioned how many uh, coins every box and... Uh, uh, vending machine has and they also mentioned how many uh, coins wasp cameras have as well in like the first video but I already forgot those amounts and but there's a lot of coins there's easily like maybe a hundred or two hundred coins here a lot of coins to get in that one area okay let's see next we gotta climb this ladder ah come on I think there's actually a level collector card up here somewhere I don't. I know they put a lot of wasp cameras in very weird places, but I don't think they'd go go this far. Okay, there we go. And that should be the last collector card, actually. Let's see. Lisa's machine. And that's not even close to being the last wasp, uh, last level card. So I actually have quite a ways to go for my wasp cameras. As for the Lisa's Machine reference, I don't really remember, so I might as well just show you what this uh, this view card screen does. What you can do is just select uh, each one of the collector cards, and you can see which uh, one it's from. Oh, Lisa's Wedding. Okay, I was right about the uh, Lisa's Future Vision. And then there's also, let's see, let's see the Lisa's Machine. Oh, the PT disbands. Okay, I remember that. He just, she just randomly built that machine. Uh, she was obsessing over it. Uh, I remember that episode now. Okay, so, uh... Okay, so let's go ahead and do the first... Or, not the first. Second street race. It's actually the third street race, but... It's the second one I'm doing. <laughs> That's one of my favorite uh, uh, street race intros right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the checkpoint race. One, 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 go! Okay, so it looks like in this street race I'll be racing through the pier, which I'm not crazy about. I really do not like the pier. Because it's so easy to actually hit stuff. Um, and there's also a good chance that the computer players will get a good lead on you and they won't hit anything. That seems to be a trend with them. Right now Marge is doing a really good job of staying ahead. Okay, I think there was a shortcut I missed. Oh wait, no, I can't take that shortcut. How is she getting that far ahead already? Damn. This might be another one of those instances where I say... Well, I'll cut until the successful attempt. And yeah, I uh, don't think you can't take that. Oh crap, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose this. And I'm probably going to cut the video until the successful attempt. Let me just wait until the mission failure screen. Okay, I'll see you guys when I actually get it right. Okay, I'm back. Ah, jeez. This street race has been so annoying. I actually had to keep restarting until Marge actually screwed up to actually give me a chance of actually winning this. I swear, it's like the AI is so stupid that most of the time that they screw you up by screwing themselves. And then Marge just takes advantage of that. So angry, so angry, but I beat it. Okay guys, uh, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and see the ending. She must get her driving ability from her mother's side. Oh yeah, I got my mojo working now. Okay, so next I have to uh, do the next mission, 
which hopefully I can actually do with the time I have left. I should be able to, but I don't know. That street race just kind of demoralized me and kind of actually got me off track of time. So don't know if I'll actually be able to do this next mission in time or not. I'm going to try it, though. I think this mission is actually pretty easy. What did I hit? Never mind. This, this game is just, like, really throwing me through a loop right now, which is a shame, because I really love this game. There's so many stupid things happening at once. Oh, jeez. Okay, so next we're going to talk to Grandpa to start the next mission. Grandpa, can you help me find Bart? He's missing. Maybe I'm just a senile old man, but Bart's lucky red hat fell out of that black car. Wow, Grandpa, what a great clue. You showed why senior citizens are valuable members of the community. I think my baby teeth are growing back. That's why I had to punch that nurse. I better use something big if I want to take that car out. Like that school bus. Okay, so here's where you actually have to purchase something. And you have to purchase it from Otto at Camp Krusty. So let's go all the way over there. Surely this shouldn't take me too long, but... I have no idea. Okay, so Otto's down here. I should have drove, but whatever. And I fell! Uh oh, okay, that works. Otto, I know I'm a little young to be asking this. Look, I don't have any special brownies left. I ate them all. But do you think I can use your school bus? Oh, <laughs> right, cool. Meet my price and she's all yours, little lady. Okay, let's go ahead and buy the school bus. Only 300 coins. And we have plenty of coins to make that purchase. Okay, so Operation Hellfish. Destroy the black sedans to find a clue. Don't let time run out. So, let's get in our bus. Yeah, we have a school bus. Have you ever wanted to drive a school bus before? Actually, I wouldn't because these buses are huge. Okay, so the goal of this mission is to destroy, and thankfully, the school bus is a good tool of destruction, because it's big, it's heavy, and we're also destroying small cars like these. Okay, sure we can destroy it now. There we go. Unfortunately, I think we have to destroy like three of them, so that's why I'm worried about the time limit for this mission. So if I reach about the certain point where I have to end the video, I'll just end it because, well, I really don't want to lose any more time. It's just that stupid street race. That's what really screwed everything up. That was actually a really hard street race, to tell you the truth. I mean, you wouldn't think it would be that hard. I mean, it's just a race, but for that race in particular, you have to drive on the pier, first of all, which is a challenge in itself. And then you also have to try to pass a vehicle that has more top speed than you, which is kind of unfair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, take that. Oh, wow, it's already dead. Uh, I don't know if I'll have time to destroy this last one, but... Wow, that was a epic destruction right there. Okay, I think we have to go to the pier, I think. Let's go ahead and make this jump. Yes, Lisa, you are flying. You're flying in the school bus. Okay, this should be the last one. I have no idea. This could be close. Oh, wow. Okay, that works. Mission complete, and I actually did it in time. That was epic. Epic beyond belief. But anyways, this is Slim Kirby. Next time on Let's Play The Simpsons Hit and Run, I'll do the final street race, and then I'll also do the next mission. So see you guys next time. Later, folks.